Hi guys, Jenny from Bear Wellness, and I, this is just a about our food video. So <clears throat> Bear Wellness is multidimensional and complex, and it has all sorts of aspects of wellness. Um, but we're going to talk about what the food basis is. So when I describe how we eat, or what uh, the Bear Way suggests that you eat, I like to say a couple of different things. So paleo with a twist, or we look at nutrition and wellness with a ancestral lens, I think it's important to pay attention to the mismatches between how we spent most of our time evolving to our current situation. Because the truth of the, or the fact of the matter is, the vast majority of the human history, we were in a, an environment in which there was inconsistent food, we had to work hard for it, so we ex exerted a lot of energy, and the food was uh, all natural and didn't have these man-made additional or concentrated items so we would um you know we tend to see some mismatches because we have this hyper palatable food so rob wolf talks about this a lot about how we have this hyper palatable food surrounding us 24 7 all of the time so we are hyper fed we are under active and we, a few other things, but not necessarily food related, but I also think that we are, you know, too comfortable and we are too warm all the time. We're made to get up. We're made to move. We're made to not necessarily eat all the time. We do not need to be fed around the clock, taking time off and eating and not eating for 12 hours or maybe 14, maybe 16, occasionally longer is good for our body because that's how we evolve. So we have these mix, mix, mitch, mismatches, sorry, I can't talk, mismatches between our current environment, which is food full of sugar, full of fat, full of ingredients that don't, ex don't exist in the human body in the human condition. And it's available all of the time. And the vast majority of us are sitting at a desk for eight hours a day. So obviously, the fact that we have this metabolic disease, that we have these lifestyle diseases that are just riddling us that we're, that we have this huge epidemic of obesity, it makes sense if you think about it through the ancestral lens, right? So this is what I say, eat real food. Simple, but it's not as simple because there's so many gray areas. There's not a lot of black and white. And that even when you work with me and you're in our community, it's still not always black and white because you know we're all different. We have different genes, we have different families, we have different cultures, we have we have different lifestyles, we have different histories. I mean, there's so many complexities, and it's so beautiful and wonderful um, to get to work with people and be able to figure out those complexities and see what works best for people. And really, the only person that's gonna know that is you. Like you get have to pay attention and be mindful about what's going in your body. So animal products, animal protein. Obviously there's vegetarian options too. So whatever it resonates with you on your soul level, because some people really can't or um, they really can't find it in their soul to eat animals and we work with that too. However, I do encourage some animal protein and if you're gonna do animal protein, I want it grass-fed, pastured, or wild. It's a high priority because you're not just what you eat, but you are what you eat ate. I stole that from Ben Greenfield. He says that a lot. So high quality animal protein. And then plus some veggies. Let's eat lots of greens. I love wheatgrass, chard, arugula, spinach, kale. Eat your greens. So important. Eat your vegetables. If you're trying to do a lower carb, higher fat model, which is definitely what we encourage for the vast majority of people, um, you want to eat vegetables predominantly that grow above ground and then depending on what your carb load and, and insulin sensitivity is, an occasional starchy. Now, add in a beautiful, high-quality fat, like grass-fed butter, or an organic um, avocado, some olives, olive oil, add it in, that's beautiful, some coconut oil. Um, add those three portions together. Boom, 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 super easy. Take out the crap, take out the, one of the big things that we talk about is vegetable oils, and this is gonna surprise a lot of you because canola oil has been touted as this no, take it out. The omega balance between three to six is so skewed. It's so processed and the inflammation that it causes in your body. 
is going to wreak havoc. So say you've been eating like this perfectly, you take all your macros, they're balanced, you have been eating are organic and grass-fed, but you're not losing any weight, or your headaches are still there, or you're still tired, what is going on? Take the vegetable oils out. Stick to grass-fed butter, grass-fed ghee, lard, veg um, uh, olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil. You know where um, canola oil is sneaky? Mayonnaise and, veg and um, dressings, even if you're buying organic. So uh, two companies that I really liked, and I'm I don't I'm not sponsored by them. I just like them. Is Primal Kitchen and Chosen Foods, or making them yourself. There's a lot of great recipes online. So this is just a little basic about how we like to eat. So take some time off from eating. 12, 16 plus hours, at least 12. Go to bed at eight. Don't eat till eight. Not that hard, right? So be surprised how many people don't even go 12 hours without eating. Eat grass-fed, pastured, and wild. Take an animal or vegetable protein, add in some vegetables, add in a fat. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.